I'm Richie. I've been with Tacoa for about a little bit over two years. That's my wife, Osi. The I'm better Osi. half. Yes, I am the better half. It's nice to be a part of something from ground up. So I know there's some hard work that goes with it, but it's okay. Somehow, I guess it's rewarding. I guess that's the word for it. And I like coming in and serving and coming in, like just starting from from the from the beginning. Like, you know, like we're, how we set up. I like that, like we felt like we were a part of something. I know it took a while for me to really understand tithing and um, I know I, I was supposed to, but I, just really hard. I do construction, so it takes a toll. So uh, when they say, you gotta give up something, and I'm like, are you crazy? So it's like, so I, it's really hard for me to give it. And you know how they say it's like open-handed? And that's, it's a hard concept. And I'm like, I work with my hands. Do you know how much bruise cuts? And I actually bleed for it, so it's like, no. But then on that one day I drove to work, it's the first time I actually like, you know, like, ah, okay, I'll do the online auto. And as soon as I clicked it, um, it was, it's like a relief. There's this burden that just out of my shoulder and then it's like, oh, that was it. <laughs> and it's like, oh, it wasn't that hard. It's so bad. Yeah, I thought it was gonna hurt more. And then, and then I got to see where that money goes. Cause I don't really hand out money. So, but then when the church does it, and I actually see it firsthand, and then I hear um, people's nice. stories, then I'm good. It has to do with, with you being really um, obedient with him, right? So I, I was telling him about how I'm tithing, and you know, that you're supposed to give 10% of your, whatever you make. And he was a little bit kind of like, what? That's crazy. I said, you gotta just trust, you gotta just trust. And it took him a couple years before he actually did finally decide, okay, yeah. And, and then now it's, it's been good. And God has been really doing great things for us, even though we know like currently right now he's not working, but he's providing still and, and it's great. And like you said, we see where, where the money goes and we see what our church helps with, with you know, with, our, with whatever tight so we have we're free like we we don't worry we don't worry about anything because I know he's always providing for us so. so I always thought that I give out more that means I'll have less but in actuality I guess I've been lucky or or I guess he rewards me for having a job and I've been pretty stable and and construction is not stable but I don't know how it is, but I guess like if you're just faithful tithing, I get more back than, than what I give. I just have to be faithful. I think you just have to stay, stay faithful and just believe that he'll, he's got you. Yeah. Yep. And, and that's what I always say, he's got you. Even though sometimes I feel like oh, he doesn't have me, but I know he does. You know, there are times when I'm just kind of like, okay, where are you? But I know he's he's always uh, he's he's never failed he's never failed me. No, that's what um, Ali was asking uh, Sunday. She goes, um, name one thing you're thankful for, and then sure enough, you hit it. I said I'm stress free, yeah. and I was like, whoo, in California, and you don't have a job, and how are you stress free? That cannot be. He's just you know? stressed with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you're in question about tithing, pray about it. Pray about yeah. it, for sure. <laughs>